Hi, welcome to my video. This is the Eclectic Male Witch. Tonight, we're going to be actually making some more charms, guys. These ones are going to be a little different. These are very special charms that I'm making to give out as gifts. Basically, what this video is going to be called, How to Make Unconditional Love and Acceptance Charms. And a spell to activate it. So what I'm going to do, I got a bunch of ingredients together. What these are going to be used for, like I said, as gifts. They're even going to have, the little bottles look like this. They have a hook. And you can basically, what you can do is you can make a necklace out of it. I got some hemp rope that I'm going to be doing, using it for. And guys, this is to spread love and acceptance of everybody around. Like we've talked about in other videos, we've done spells, we had discussions. This is a charm you can give to somebody as a gift. And to spread that love, unconditional love and acceptance around. So they'll be able to give that to other people and feel it in return. At the same time, I'm not just going to hand it to them and not tell them what it is. I would never do that. That would be like violating somebody's will. So if they accept it, they'll know what it is. They'll know what it's used for. It's for receiving that love and acceptance unconditionally and giving it out to people. That's what this is all about, guys. It's a beautiful thing to create, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using in it. I already ground down the petals. I've got uh, pink and, and uh, red rose petals. Mint to send out love signals. Basil to send out love signals. Lavender for love and acceptance. Allspice for love and acceptance. Cinnamon for love and acceptance. And that's what the rose was for, also for love and acceptance. And let's see where to go here. Oh, yeah, right here. Just in the little container. Catnip to give and receive love. Also, guys, if I could find it real quick, I haven't been able to. I should have it right in my. To make it a little bit stronger, I wanted to add something else. Yes, if I can fit these in the bottle, I'm going to add one clove to each bottle. That'll strengthen it. And that's something I wanted to do, but I can get to it. So, Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take my mortar and pestle. We're going to mix things together. So the first thing I'm going to add in here, besides what's already in here, besides the rose, is basil. No, mint. I'm sorry, guys. Mint. And sometimes this works good, sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to just use my finger to mix it, my fingers, because it depends on what you're mixing. Sometimes the mortar works good, or sometimes it doesn't. I want to make enough to make four little bottles. I don't know if I'm going to make them all on camera, but I'm definitely going to make four all together. I got four more, but I'm using them for something else. So put your intentions, crunch it down right in your fingers, just like that. Get any little stems or anything that might be in there out of there, because we don't want that. We don't want those in there. Crush it down real good. Put it right in your pedestal. All right. Just mix it together. Now I can try using this, but honestly, for what I got in there right now, it's really not working all that well. So the mint's going in there next. The combination of these ingredients and your intentions, guys, it's going to make these really strong. I picked out these ingredients on purpose. This is my own charm I'm creating. But I picked out these ingredients on purpose for this specific purpose for love. Unconditional love and acceptance of everyone. Do you think of anything more beautiful than that? Honestly. We could give these out to the whole world and convince people to wear them and, you know, like, believe in it. I think it would make a big difference, guys. So the mint's in there. All right. Basil is next. Remember, basil is a send out love signal, just like the mint was a send out love signals. Crush it down in your fingers. Grind it down good. Send out those intentions. Those intentions into it. There we go. That should be good. All right. Put the rest back. I think I took a little too much out. Same thing. I'm gonna mix this up in my fingers. Mm 
I'm showing you step by step how I'm doing it. That way, if you want to do it yourself, you're more than welcome to. Once all the ingredients in there, I'm going to mix it and grind it down again, guys. So, you guys see my tie dye uh, video I made about making tie dye? I feel kind of drawn to tie dye, so I'm going to be doing that. Also, guys, I got these little heart stickers. I'm going to put some on the outside of the bottom and put a tiny one in the bottle, too. Alright? So, just to make the intentions a little stronger with it. So, lavender is the next one. And like I said, lavender is about love and acceptance. You can see I bought some more. My local bonnacle shop is where I get this. I need quite that much. Just put a little bit back. There we go. Put your intentions into it while you're grinding it. Love and acceptance. Love and acceptance. That's what these are all about. These ingredients are all about love and acceptance. Lavender takes a little bit longer because you know how lavender is. There these little petals that like you got to really break them down if you want it to be kind of powdery. So not to be complete powder, but you know enough where and get it to go into the bottle and mix with everything else well so empty that in there in the pedestal mix them all together there we go and what I'll do if there's anything left later I'll just save it and put it aside in the bag so if I want to make more I'll have it already pre-made and I wouldn't have to make more so I might so even if I make a little more on purpose that's absolutely fine so no, I think I mentioned this before, guys. I have a little book of shadows where I write down things that I do. I put a little mark by it because I want to make sure before it works. And then when it's completely, when I when I basically confirm that this stuff, what actually I've done actually works, I'll put a little uh, X by it. That way it means it works. Check marks, question, and X's means it works. And most everything I've tried has worked to one center or the other. Some work better than others, and other ones have worked very well. It's about trial and error, guys. And I know that this one's going to work because of the strong ingredients I'm working. So, either way, I'm not I'm pretty confident about that. Allspice. That's just going to be sprinkled right in there. Just a little, enough where I can, I can mix it in. Because I'm not going to put this in my hand because, you know, it's a little mess. Now, I'll rub, I'll, I'll rub my hands on it in there. But, that, that's what, but I'm not going to actually put my hands, pour it in my hand is what I'm trying to say. So, set these over there for right now. I want to leave them there though because I don't want to be away the camera either. So it's mixing good, guys, and I'm putting my energy into it as I do it. So, so anyone who receives this, I have my my love and acceptable my unconditional love and acceptance to them as I hand it to them. So probably mostly coworkers, if they'll accept it, I'll give it to them. Maybe a couple other people as well. So. Guys, I think you can tell by now how much I really admire my coworkers. Like I said, I've been with a lot of them work for several years, and uh, not all of them. Either way, we're a team. Yeah, we pull together for things that need to get done and get along well. And I really admire them, so I always want to do stuff special for them. You know. So. All right. All spices in. That one was for love. No cinnamon's for love. Now you can use this for passionate love also, but that's not my intention with this. It's for love and acceptance. That's the intention for this one. And with your intentions, everything counts. You borrow the energy for what intention you wanted to use it for. So, all right. Let's get the cinnamon mixed in there. Like I said, it's better. It's working out better just using my fingers with this for right now. And also, I'm like I said, I'm getting my energy in there with it. So, and I already got the rose in there, so that's already mixed in. So I didn't have to. I got that ahead of time because that took a little longer because I had to put two different roses. Um, 
The pink rose is for friendship, as I explained before. Red rose can be used for love, acceptance, and different types of love, too. So that's why I have both of them in there. I don't know how pretty it would actually look in the bottle, but I'm going to put some wax, uh, pink wax on there and uh, put stickers so it'll make it look even better. It's not the point of how pretty it looks. It's I want it to look pretty so they'll wear it, but at the same time, it's about the energy you're getting from it. So. Sure, you could pretty it up, add extra things into it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just I'll, I'll cosme make cosmetic looks on the outside, and like I said, I'll put sticker and stuff on the inside. All right, so cinnamon, and then some catnip to give and receive love. This can be used for strong love spells, not, but that's not what I'm using it for, guys. So there's all kinds of uses you can use these things for. It's got boots is in here right now, my cat, because he'd be smelling us, he'd be coming over and trying to get us, so. <laughs> I think with catnip, you get stems. Now, some of the organic kinds, like I said, this was this was my cat boots, but I got, I just, just traded with him. I got an organic one, didn't have any stems, so it's even better. I gave that to him, and I just took this one. All right. Give and receive love. Give and receive love. Give and receive love. Just picking the rest of the stems out of there, guys. How you like my uh, cloth? Some mermaid design. I've always liked mermaid designs. It's got, it's got the sea stuff in it, too. I've actually got these little mermaid charms I'm going to be giving out to people. That's for comfort. But they're already together. They're not potion bottles. And I, haven't, I had to paint them. I haven't gotten to those yet, so... They have little clips you can clip on stuff with it and everything, so that's pretty neat. So, so I'm going to put the catnip in there next. Mix that all in there. I want all these ingredients mixed very, very well. So they'll mix evenly when I get them in the bottles. Alright. I'll probably just do two of them on camera and the other two off because otherwise it'll run for over an hour and I'm not going to do that but I might take a break or whatever too so but I want to show you guys how to do this I might even include these in some contests in the future so it's besides the one that's going on right now like the mushroom and which will happen in May. Like I said, if you haven't seen it, go watch the contest video. And that'll tell you all about it. Alright. Alright, guys. Just gotta spray my hands. Because all those ingredients did make a little mess. Alright, guys. Now I'm gonna start filling up the bottles. They're all mixed well. And I have a little trick to do that. I do have a little funnel thing that I can use that I created. But if it's not absolutely necessary. I usually just take a piece of paper, fold it with a crease in it, and then I scoop up some of it and I start putting it in the bottle. So I'm going to take some of this right now. I'm going to hold it over my pedestal. I'm going to throw it right in there, just like that. Put it in there. I want to stick to it here. Come on, get in there. Yep, it's going in. The problem is they had a little, I'm just going to crease it the other way because there's little ridges on that side and it's preventing it from going off the edge. So I'm just going to do it this way instead, guys. All right. I didn't see that when I first pulled it over, so. And I'll activate it with a spell once you get the stuff in there. All right, now. I'm going to throw a clove in there. I need a huge one, just a small one if I can find it. You guys know what cloves are, so. Yep. Whole clove, just like a part of it with this down part broken off on top. Just like that. See, I put the clove in there. Now. I'm going to take a small sticker. A 
Small heart stickers going in there next. See? See if you can see it? That's in there now. Alright. I'm going to keep filling it up. Just like that. To keep it from going all over, I'm holding it over my pestle. It's going in there real well now, now that I got it on that side. So see? Guys, I really got to get my 4K camera set up. I keep saying I'm going to. The problem is, when I'm recording on my phone right now, I can instantly upload. When I do that, I have to take the time and get my computer to boot up, hook it up, and download it to that. And so it's an extra step. I've been working and stuff a lot. Don't worry, guys. I'll eventually get it set up. I apologize. I just haven't had a lot of time right now. At least I'm getting the videos out. That's the important thing for right now. So I didn't buy the camera for nothing. I got it purposely from doing my YouTube videos. And of course if I want to do family videos I'll use it for that too. So. It's about halfway full right now. It smells good. It does aroma from those herbs together. So. shake it a little bit because it does have the other stuff in there so there we go looks like there's going to be a fair amount of the stuff left like i said which will be okay because i can save it for other charms Almost got this one filled, guys. I'm not trying to bore you. It just takes time to get it set up. All right. I might even, just for time's sake, so I don't bore you, just do this one on camera. Do and then, I don't know. Maybe I'll get more two of them. It's getting close to where I can put this in. Let's see what happens when I put the cap in. Almost, guys. Almost. So once you get in, you don't want it to move around. You don't really need to shake this up because it's already all, everything. I did it halfway through when I had a half of the ingredients in there because of the clove and everything. But at the same time, once it's full, you really don't need to because everything's in there. So. I'm almost done with this bottle. I want it to be pretty tight packed. Okay. A little more. Thank you for staying with me, guys. I know this is taking some time, but... I appreciate you guys' dedication to my channel and views and things we've been talking about together. And I just appreciate you guys very much. I just want you to know that. Doing this so I can show you guys some of the stuff I do and how I make things to help other people. Alright guys, I got one bottle done now. See? Now, I'm going to get the other one done, alright? I'm just going to set that over here for a minute. I just cut a piece of uh, paper bag off to use so it doesn't make a big mess. Because when I'm doing the can do wax, especially right here, guys, this is my brand new altar cloth and I don't want it to get all wax if I can help it. I don't pay a lot for these. They're just pieces of, like, fabric. But still... I don't, I'd rather not, like, waste it, you know, so. Okay. Now, once again, take a clove. Throw that in there. 
take a small, either pink or a red sticker, doesn't matter, they're very similar. So this one I think I'll use a pink one. Yeah, it's going in there next, just like that. And then I'm going to top it off. That way you guys can see it again in case the first time you didn't catch it. And also go back and watch the video. You'll be able to see me doing it again. Try to speed this up a little bit. So I'm not actually doing a spell until I actually get all this complete. So... Which is sort of a spell. I mean, I'm going to be speaking intentions and putting the wax on it and then probably using my singing bowl. So it's a basic activation spell is what it is. So I don't do it with all the charms I do, but this is really special. And this is like I said, love and acceptance of everyone. So I really want the energy to stick with it, guys. About half full. It's because the bottles are so small, and it, you know you have to have a way to actually get the stuff in there, and it's not always easy because they are small. They have really small openings. So. Yep, it's coming right along now, guys. I think I'm going to turn around on this side and use this side now. The other side's starting to crumple up a little bit. Oh, yeah. See, it's going in much faster now. All right. Shake it a little bit because of the sticker and the clove. There we go. Alright guys, that one's done now. Now they're both done. Good. So what I'm going to do, take the rest of this, just dump it right back in there, just like that. Alright? Now, alright guys, just set those there for a minute. I'm going to set this back here. Now I'm going to take, I got some love potion oil to add a love and acceptance onto the candle. I'm going to do that. I'm going to Light the candle with that before I start mounting the wax on there, all right? Just need a little bit. Charms are to love and accept everyone. May whoever receives these feel that love and acceptance. Receive it from everyone around them and give it to everyone around them. So mote it be. Real simple, guys. It's just time consuming, like I said, to get this to do this, so let's bring my hands. Alright. I got a cinnamon insect here. Incent yeah, excuse me, cinnamon inset here. I'm gonna light that. This is about love and acceptance as well. So I'm gonna light that cinnamon inset. And after I put the wax on it, I'm gonna run this across it. To finish activating them, okay? I'm going to set that to the side for a minute. Alright, it's time to light the candle, guys. Get these sealed.
And I am going to use a match for this. So. It's just even though it's, an, it's the spell. So it's not just not. Some of them I don't use spell. But this is definitely a spell. So. I know. Activate these love and ex unconditional love and acceptance charms. Whoever receives it may they show love, unconditional love, and acceptance to everyone they encounter. May they receive that energy back as well. So multi be. Yeah, it's taking a minute, guys, because I got to get the actual uh, wick to melt down to the point where it's touching the wax. So it's starting to, but it's taking a little time. Here we go. Unconditional love, unconditional acceptance to everyone who receives this. Let them receive it and give it. Unconditional love, unconditional acceptance to everyone that they could encounter when they're wearing this. May they show unconditional love unconditional acceptance to everyone who receives it excuse my throat tonight guys i got a little frog in it my, my couple of my family members are sick so they're all congested that might be coming down with something so we'll see that's why my throat out that's why i sound the way i do tonight and a little tired as well so i was up working last night i still want to do this for you guys and show you all right A little bit down on the bottle, so it's touching down there as well. All right. There's one, guys. All right. Unconditional love, unconditional acceptance to any to whoever receives this. May they show unconditional love and unconditional acceptance to everyone they encounter. May they give it and may they receive it. The love and energy may go around. There won't be any fighting, hatred. Everyone want to just accept and you love each other. Let rejection be gone in these people's lives. Let them accept everyone and reject no one. I can actually control how long, how fast it trips by, by how I move the candle up and down. That's something I've actually just been getting to learn a little bit. a little bit on the bottle of course For cosmetic effects down below I'm sealing it to seal the spell in there and the, but as far as cosmetics you can use it for that as well that's what I'm doing when I'm getting an actual bottle part all right so that one's pretty good now guys so I'm gonna set that down this one I'm gonna double check a little bit here there we go I don't want it to look funny. I want it to look. I don't want it to look as good as possible. I'm talking about the wax part, guys. So. All right, that is good. All right, now I'm going to extinguish this. On the other side, I got my candle extinguisher, so I'm going to do that right now. All right, I'll do a couple more later, but that's good for now, guys. All right, all right, these are done. I haven't finished activating them, but they're complete. For, for the most part. All right, now it's time to activate these guys. So what I'm going to do? Set them where they'll both actually stand up. All right. I'm going to hold them in my hand. Put my intentions into it. All right. That's the first thing I'm going to do. For anyone who I give a gift, who receives this as a gift from me, he's love. Unconditional love, unconditional acceptance, potion bottles. May they give unconditional love and unconditional acceptance to anyone they encounter. And may they receive the same in return. May they give unconditional love 
may they receive unconditional love. I put my energy, my will, and my intentions into this now. So mote it be. Alright. I'm going to take my inset. Hold it. Let's speak some intentions again. Unconditional love. Unconditional acceptance. To all who receive these as gifts. May they be friends, family, co-workers, which more than likely it probably will be. May they appreciate it. May it be used, the energy be used for that. Let's make our local community and world a better place. So mote it be. One more step with this, guys, before I put the stickers on it, alright? I have my singing bowl. And of course, I'm going to put the energy into there as well with this. And while this video is uploading, I'm going to do a couple more of these, alright? Unconditional love, unconditional acceptance to anyone who receives this charm as a gift. May they give unconditional love and accept an unconditional acceptance. May they receive unconditional love, unconditional acceptance. So mote it be, so mote it be, so mote it be. Alright guys, this one is as good as active. Alright, one more. Unconditional love. Unconditional acceptance. May anyone who receives this as a gift. Give unconditional love. Unconditional acceptance to everyone around them. May they receive unconditional love. Unconditional acceptance back. Let's spread our love to our local communities and our world. These beautiful little charms. So mote it be. So mote it be. So mote it be. Alright guys. That part is done. Now what I'm going to do. I'll probably add some oil on it. I don't know if I'll have to read the add the stickers later. But I'm going to add a little of my come to me oil to make it a little stronger. For now, I'm going to take my heart stickers. And I'm going to put one right here. Hold it for a second to make sure it sticks. If it doesn't, I'll have to glue it on, but I'm hoping it'll stay. That one's not working out. All right, guys, hang on. There's smaller ones here too. I was hoping, I should have tested this before I came on camera, but I did not, just to be honest with you. I just thought I could get it going. All right. We'll see if this sticks, guys. If it doesn't, I'll find a way to get it to stick. For now, it looks like it might not. We'll see. But either way, I'll get it. I'll find a way to get it to stick. So I do have some glue. So guys, I'm not gonna do this on camera. I might show you later. I have these little strings that I can put in there if I want to make them into like a. I don't know if I'll do it with all of them, but I can make it. I got natural hemp cord necklace string. I'm actually gonna might even make a separate video about this. But I just want to show you guys. All right, guys, that is how you make a charm for unconditional love, unconditional acceptance charm to give the gifts to people, or you can wear them yourself as well. See, it turned out very beautifully. I just love it. it. gives me pleasure to be able to do this for people, guys. So, all right. Before we end the video, remember, everyone has worth, value, beauty, and needs to be loved. Everyone has worth, value, beauty, and deserves, un to be, deserves unconditional love, unconditional acceptance. 
unconditional friendship, unconditional respect, and everything else is good, guys. Alright, guys. Thank you for watching my video. This is the Eclectic Male Witch. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification so I can be updated on my latest video. Also, if you'd like to make a donation, my cash app is dollar sign eclectic81. That's dollar sign E C L E C T I C eight one. Also send me an email and say hi or if you have a suggestion you want or something you want me to try. It's also my PayPal address. It's eclecticmailwitch at gmail.com. Eclecticmailwitch at gmail.com. Alright guys, thank you for watching my video. This is the Eclectic Mail Witch. Blessed be.